Hi, I'm Evan Reinheimer. In this video, I'm going to show you how I built out the interior of my van. Thanks for watching. I'm Evan Reinheimer and I'm an artist. I tour around the country exhibiting in fine art festivals. If you're new here, I'd really appreciate it if you took the time to subscribe to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how I built out the inside of my van that I use to transport my artwork and art fair display in. Even though I use my van mostly for cargo and storage, the platform that I'm going to show you how to build can also be used as a bed. Also, be sure to watch the entire video because there's a lot of small things that I learned while making this platform that I'm going to share with you, and they're going to save you a lot of time and aggravation. I'm in no way a professional van builder outer, but the system that I came up with works for me, and I've had zero issues with it over the last two years while traveling tens of thousands of miles across the country and back many times over. My van is a Ford Transit. It's the tallest and longest version that they make, but you can build this kind of platform in any van. When I bought it, there was nothing built out on the inside at all, so the first thing I did was install a bulkhead partition. This is especially important because having a partition like this helps keep anything in the back of your van from shifting forward into the seating area in the event of a short stop or an accident. Even if you're using your van to live in, I really recommend having a partition like this installed because it can save your life. I wanted the inside of my van to be super simple and highly functional, so I designed this two-level storage system using a raised platform that I built. On the bottom is where I store my festival tents and some parts of my display. On the top is where I store my large photographs that are stored in these protective bags that I showed you how to make in another video, which I'll leave a link to in the description. To make the platform, I used some wood that I had left over from crates that I use when shipping my artwork to collectors, but you can buy this kind of wood at just about any hardware store. First, I installed vertical pieces of 2.5 by 1.5 wood at intervals along the side of the interior of the van. And the key to doing this are these rivets. These rivets pop into pre-punched holes that are along the interior of your van already, and then they create a thread hole that you can then screw a bolt into. I'm going to put a link to these in the description of the video, and I'll link the proper size for a Ford Transit, so check the diameter of the holes in your van if you have a different model. The rivets pop into the hole, and then you use a tool that's provided with them to fasten them into place. And now you have a threaded hole that you could then screw a bolt into. Then I cut the vertical pieces of wood to the height that I wanted, and it's okay if they don't go all the way to the floor of the van because they're going to be supported by the bolts that we add. To know where to drill the holes for the bolts, I used a double-ended screw that I inserted partway into the rivet, and then pressed the wood against it to make a mark of where I should drill the holes for the bolts. When installing the vertical pieces of wood to the side of the van, in order to prevent the wood from rubbing directly against the metal and creating a really obnoxious squeaking noise, I put a couple of washers in between the wood and the side of the van to make sure that the wood doesn't vibrate against the metal and make super obnoxious squeaking noises. These vertical pieces of wood are going to be used to support the crossbars that I made next. For the crossbars, I used the same kind of 2.5 by 1.5 inch wood that I used for the vertical supports, but then I added a piece of 2.5 by 3 quarter inch wood to the sides of those, making a U-shaped crossbar. And again, to prevent the wood from rubbing against itself and squeaking, I used wood glue and then screwed it all together. Adding the crossbars was easy now because the U-shape of them helps them fit snugly over the vertical supports. I added a whole bunch of crossbars and probably didn't need this many, but I wanted to be sure that the platform would be able to hold a lot of weight. Then I added plywood to the top of the crossbars and screwed it all together. So if you're building a bed or something, this would probably be your last step. But for me, I wanted to make individual sections where I can slide my pro panels and my artwork into. To create this, I added vertical pieces of 2.5 by 1 inch wood. That created little dividers for me. I also wanted to make sure that my fragile artwork wasn't resting on a hard piece of plywood. So I added this foam rubber padding to the top of the plywood and secured it with construction adhesive. In front of the platform is where I store the bins that my smaller prints are stored in. These are durable rolling bins that are pretty heavy, so I needed a ramp to be able to easily load and unload them. The ramp I found to work best is this six-foot folding wheelchair ramp that can be used at either the side door or the back door. It supports 600 pounds, so that's way more than I'll ever need, and it folds down pretty compact so I can store it right in the back of the van. I'll leave a link to it in the description of this video because I highly recommend this one. I keep a folding bike in my van for times when I have to park far away from an art festival, or if I'm in a city or something and don't want to be driving my big van around congested areas. 
I mounted my bike on the side of the interior using those rivets that I showed you earlier to secure a hook that holds the bike. Then I added a piece of that foam rubber to the interior wall here to prevent the bike from knocking against the wall and creating a dent or a dimple. I also use a lashing strap to secure the bike on the hook. In case I hit a big bump or something, I wouldn't want the bike to fall off. I hope this video gave you some insight and ideas into how I built my van. If you have any thoughts or questions, feel free to ask them in the comments, and remember to like this video if you found it helpful. So many bird noises.